everyone, my name is Jennifer Maker and today I'm teaching you all about the tools, supplies, and accessories that you can use with your Cricut Joy cutting machine. This is the Cricut Kickoff Lesson 2 and we're going through all of these fun things together one by one. Now in Lesson 1 you saw that your basic Cricut Joy comes with a few things beyond the machine and the power cord. So in the box was a green mat, a black pen, a piece of smart vinyl, and a piece of cardstock. And the blade itself was in the Cricut Joy machine. But there's a lot more tools, supplies, and accessories. And understanding them and knowing when to use them, um, when, with what, for, <laughs> for which project, really goes a long way towards making what you love with your Cricut. So now before we get too far, I want to remind you about my free Cricut Kickoff Printable Handbook that goes along with these lessons. Uh, this is it. It's printed out. Uh, you can print it if you want to. You can download it right now at CricutKickoff.com. Just register for the class, which is free, and you'll get the handbook. I'll be referring to it as we go along during today's lesson. It's got a lot of really cool things that help you out. I'm going to give you a little, I'm going to show you in fact exactly what's cool about it. Now we are on lesson two, know the tools to use. So I just want to make sure you see this. So this is a place for you to record which blades you have. It actually shows you all of the blades um, that are available and for which Cricut machines you can have. So you can make notes about them as you go along and whether you have them or not. There's two pages there, same for pens and markers, same for machine mats, which I'll show you. And then you can make notes of your favorite brands where you found it. So there's lots of places for you to make notes. This is a great, so as we're going through today's video, today's lesson, the, um, I recommend that you make notes about things, okay? And I know that you're all gonna ask me about where can I find all these things that you're telling me about. On the page about so the, the link to cr the lesson two, it actually gives you some links to specifically Cricut Joy things. But there's one link in particular I wanna be sure you know about, and it is right here. So this is the link to my 20% discount. Now the discount percentage does change. It's currently 20%. It could be less in the future. So it, the page will tell you what it is. It could change, right? The discount code itself changes all the time so you wanna to go to jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Discount. And on that page, you will see many of the things I'm telling you about today. Uh, let's begin with your blade. All right, so the Cricut Joy has just one blade, a fine point blade. That makes it really, really easy because it means that we don't have to worry about which blade to use for which project. So here is the blade. Uh, normally it looks like this, the little blade, it's inside here. It's right inside, you can see it there. And that's it, and it goes right into your clamp just like that. So, um, and then you close it just like this. So super easy, there is no other blade, there's no deep cut blade, there's no other special blades. If you want those, you would need to get an Explore, or uh, if you want like the knife blade, um, or the emboss um, embossing, debossing, sorry, or engraving, that would be the maker tools. Okay, so that is your blade. If you do lose it or something, you can get another one. You can get the blade in the housing, so it does, you know, because sometimes that, that happens. I'll put away my link up here, we don't need to see that. <laughs> All right, so now there is one other thing that you can put into your, that clamp, and actually there's a couple things, but. This is one, I wanna show you this. This actually came out this year. This is the foil transfer kit for the Cricut Joy. So uh, it goes right into the clamp. Now it's not a blade, but it's really cool. The foil transfer tool fits right into the clamp and it allows you to transfer foil transfer sheets onto projects to make gorgeous cards and paper crafts. Let me show you an example. So this project came, um, was done during our December Merrymaker Mingle and it has foil on it. There we go, can you see my name down there? That is with foil. So this is really cool, it's a snow globe ornament. So uh, you, the, you can, uh, this came out in the summer, the spring, I don't quite remember right now, but you can get the foil transfer kit and foil transfer sheets that are like perfectly joy sized and make some beautiful projects. This is the mat that came with your Cricut Joy. The, 
Just this one mat is included in your box and this is the green standard grip mat. We didn't even have to use it in lesson one because the Cricut Joy can cut its smart materials without a mat. But you do want a mat so that you can cut all of those other things that are not labeled as a smart material. So there's actually three mats to choose from. There's this green standard grip mat and there is a, um, and the green standard grip mat is ideal for use with material like vinyl, heavy cardstock, poster board, and smart material scraps that are too small to feed through the machine with a mat, okay? So this is probably your go-to mat. Now the blue light grip mat is a slightly less sticky mat and it's best for use with light and medium weight paper, medium cardstock, and vinyl. Both of these two mats come in two sizes, the small four and a half by six and a half mat that came in your box, and then this longer four and a half by 12 inch mat like this. And there's one more mat that's available only for the Cricut Joy. And this is a specially designed mat with a divider to protect the back of the folded Cricut insert cards. So you can cut a design on the front and not harm the back. And just one more important thing with the card mat, be sure to take the plastic cover off before you use it. The first time my daughter went to use it, she didn't realize that she had to do that because it's not quite as obvious as the other mats. And I have a insert card right here so that you can see what I mean. And I have one of my older uh, insert mats here as well. So this is pretty neat actually. Uh, so you can like, so for example, this is a completed insert card. So you insert this piece of paper in it when you're done, but, and I'll take it out in fact, so you can see. So to cut this, it goes under, see it like lifts up right here and it goes under here like this and you slide it all the way in and put it down. You gotta press it down cause it has to be sticky and then you can cut it and it only cuts the top not the bottom. So you have an awesome card when you're done and it called, it's called the insert card because then you can put in your insert panel. Now they come in all different colors and styles and I'll talk about that in just a minute, but it's pretty neat. A lot of people love the Cricut Joy for making cards. They're very fast and simple and they look so cute when you're done, okay? All right, now I consider mats to be a consumable and they need to be replaced over time as they get less and less sticky. But you can keep them going for quite a long time by cleaning them with alcohol-free baby wipes when you notice they aren't sticky enough. I love to do that and I recently had a whole blog post about that. Okay, so those are our mats. So the Cricut Joy pens, you see them all, are they cool? cool. Now, of course, one came in your box. This is the one that came in the box. Now the Cricut Joy pens are great for writing on cards, making labels, and embellishing paper crafts. And you have a black one that came in your box. So the Cricut Joy pens are water-based, acid-free, non-toxic, and permanent after they dry. It's very important to note that Cricut Joy pens are sized only for the Cricut Joy's clamp. You can't put them in an Explorer Maker and you cannot put the Explorer Maker pens in your Joy. The clamps are different sizes because the Joy's blade had to be made especially to work the way it does. So it's a little different technology. Now you've got your fine point blade with a, this is a 0.4 size tip in black with your Cricut Joy. But there are so many more pens and markers. There are lots of colors of course, but there are also extra fine point pens, metallic markers and pens, glitter gel pens and markers, Cricut infusible ink pens and markers, I will explain what infusible ink materials are a little later. Now, I suggest that you store your Cricut pens and markers tip down in your, uh, in, a, in a, like a cup or something, uh, maybe an organizer. I have a tutorial on how you can make one, but if you store them tip down or at least on their side like this, that will help make sure that the ink is ready to flow. Just don't store them like this, okay? <laughs> All right, so those are the pens. There are a lot of tools that you can buy for your Cricut Joy. Some are useful, some are less so. The ones I recommend that you get, the ones that I personally use all the time, are the scraper tool and the weeding tool. These are the two really big important ones. The scraper is great for getting all the bits and little parts off your mat. 
I have both a small one and a big one. Here's my big one. If you don't want to buy a scraper tool, you can use an old store loyalty card. The weeding tool, which is right here, is useful for removing vinyl, excess vinyl from a cut, which is what we call weeding. This is how you get all those little bits out that you don't want from your vinyl. I also use a weeding tool on intricate paper craft projects as well. Now I'll pause just for a second, and I want you to recall that in yesterday's lesson, we cut this. So this is exactly what we would want to use a weeding tool for. So here is a weeding tool. So if I want to remove all of this excess vinyl, I can just, can you see me okay? Yes. So I can just use my weeding tool to pick it up like this. And it comes away like this. Here we go. And all these, so what, we probably could have done that with our fingers. Let's be 100% honest. But these little bits here are a lot harder to do with your fingers. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, so what you want to do is, and let's make sure I'm getting the right spot, because normally I put my head right over when I weed. So you use the tip of your weeding tool to pick up the little pieces of vinyl just like this. So there is the little bit of vinyl with the weeding tool. So those are the two big important ones that I recommend you have. All right, so you can continue weeding your uh, sunflower if you want, and I'll tell you how you can like then transfer it to something in a minute. All right, so then this kit here, this is actually the Cricut Joy Starter Toolkit. It comes with another item here, and this is the spatula tool. So it's another option, and it's used for removing materials from your mats. I don't tend to use it too often, but it is super useful when you have a lot of small pieces of cardstock that you need to remove from your mat without damaging them. So you can just kind of like put the spatula right under there and lift it up. All three of these tools come, three of these tools come in a Cricut Joy Starter Toolkit. You can get this, but keep in mind that the Joy handcrafting tools like this are not any different from the ones for the Explorer um, and Maker. So if you have another set already, uh, feel free to use those instead, right? These are just actually the same color. <laughs> They're, they match. <laughs> so, some people actually really care about that. So, and if you just need these tools, it's a nice little kit. Now, another tool that I think is really handy to have on hand is the True Control Craft Knife. You see me use this a lot. So this has a special razor sharp non-stick blade. Uh, so you, use me, you saw me using it when I opened up the Cricut box and yesterday, right? So craft knives like this are so useful for doing manual cuts. And sometimes that means a project almost cut all the way through, but it's hanging by just a tiny little bit due to a design issue. And you can easily cut that out with this craft knife. Now, there's also another one and it's special. It's not just one knife, but it's actually four in one tool. Um, and I can change the tip uh, to weeding tools. I love this, that's what this one is, and I use it nearly every day. So you can get it in two forms, just as a true control knife or as the true control kit. All right, so this is the true control weeding kit. Uh, so this has um, the weeding tools in it right here, you can see, and you can swap them out as you, as you need to. So and that's what this one is here that you see me using. This actually, at the, this tip, tip at the bottom, you can actually push it in and it switches to all these. So it's really cool. All right, so if you use the True Control knife, you're also gonna want a self-healing mat like this one. <laughs> so a self-healing mat is not an adhesive mat. It's not like the kind that you put in your Cricut, but rather it's an extra thick mat that you can use to cut things with your knife. Uh, so it won't hurt it. So a self-healing mat means that it's made of tiny pieces of material that are pressed together, creating a solid surface. And so when you cut on it, the blade actually goes in between these tiny pieces. They're so small, you can't see them. This separates them rather than cutting into the entire surface of the mat. Um, thus, we call it a self-healing mat. I always craft on one of these mats because uh, and in, the, in fact, I use the largest one because I find it easier to keep clean as well rather than just my normal work surface. So you always see me using this and that's what this is. This is the Cricut, this is the Cricut self-healing mat. 
but on the other side, it's actually got all the numbers. Here, I'll switch, I'll swap it around so you can see better. So it's got a whole grid on it. Um, it goes, it goes up to 24. It's 18 by 24. So it's really useful. I just like the other side better. <laughs> you might like that numbered side the best. So that is the Cricut Mint self healing mat. They also come in like blue and pink and lilac as I recall. All right. So there's a couple other tools that I want to show you about the bag. Okay. So a lot of people get the Cricut Joy because it is uh, really compact and you can move around with it really easily, right? You can take it to a friend's house or when you're traveling. So if you want to, there is an optional travel bag, right? And so your Cricut fits right in here and it looks like this. So you can see there, so it doesn't go in the normal way. You kind of like tilt it up. I think it goes in, I have to remember. I think it's like, it shows me a picture of it right there. like that so that you can close it up, okay? So it goes right there and there's a little spot here for your power supply that goes in there uh, because of course, you know, it's a power, it needs power. Oh, here it is, there's a pocket right back here for you to put like your weeding tool and your scraper and then you're good to go. So little bag uh, sold by Cricut over at Cricut.com. This is a pair of magnifying glasses. I find these so useful for weeding. I'm 53 and I have 53 year old eyes and honestly, it's hard for anyone to see sometimes those little details. So they're magnifying glasses. They have interchangeable um, lenses for whatever you need. There's a little light on them. I'll try to turn that on. See, can you see the light shining there? And <laughs> I'll show you what they look like on. They uh, don't look the most, uh, <laughs> but they work so well. I can see this so well. So I love these. I've been telling people about these for, I don't know, Greg introduced me to these because he paints miniatures and they just are so well because they're hands-free, right? So you don't have to use like a big magnifying glass or whatever. And uh, if you want, if you need the light, it's there. It's so it's really, really good. Um, these are linked at this link here. If you want to find them there, I got them on Amazon. So they're very useful. Let me turn off my light. Very useful. You might look a little funny, but it doesn't matter because they work great. And again, they come, they actually also have like a, a back strap for your head if you don't want to put them on. They do work over glasses. People asked me that last year. So they're really useful. Okay. And then the other item, oh, here it is, is my weeding ring. Uh, so let me show you what this looks like because people are always like, what the heck is a weeding ring? So it is actually was made to be for nail polish uh, bottle holders, but us crafters decided it's better for weeding. <laughs> so I had, this one is brand new because I, mine is at home. So let's see if I can get this one out to show you how it works. There we go. So here, it's by this brand. It is linked at this, uh, I'm trying to point to it. There we go, it's linked at that link. So the way it works is I just put it on my fingers like this. You can see it's just being held there. So as I'm weeding, here's that little bit of vinyl. You can just put it right into your ring and you slide your weeding tool along the edge and it comes off. So you can don't have to worry about having little bits of vinyl floating all over your surface and getting into your project again because you really want to avoid that. You can put it right into your little weeding ring and it's all in there. And when, then when you, um, it takes up quite a while to fill up unless you love to read, <laughs> unlike me, <laughs> uh, you just reach in here and grab it and pull it out. And then it's all clean and ready for the next project. So it's called Tweaksy and the link uh, to buy it is right here. Okay, uh, so let's talk about materials. So we have a lot of materials here, a lot of materials. So, I have so many things here. Let's talk about, I, I mentioned insert cards, so let's talk about those. Because, while well, you could make that size of cardstock yourself and fold it yourself and do all that, you certainly can, you don't have to. Cricut has insert card packs. These are, they're cool because they have already cut them to size for you. The, the card parts are already folded, they're color coordinated, and they have some really cool colors and 
I don't have any of the holographic ones here, but those are probably my favorite. It's probably why they're not here because <laughs> I've used them. So they has both the card part here and the insert and envelopes, of course, because you need envelopes. So these are insert cards if you want to trial. Try, these are foil insert cards. So you can, uh, they have foil inserts. So it doesn't like the foil transfer tool. They just have foil inserts. So these are the foil insert cards. All right. And speaking of paper, because that's cardstock, they have pa joy sized paper. You kind of use, use any paper you want. You can put it into, onto a mat, but they have smart paper, a lot of different smart paper. So we'll just go through these one at a time. They have smart label paper. So it's writable paper. Um, and it has an adhesive back. So New Year's coming up, right? We need to organize things. This is like the perfect way to make pantry labels or labeling things in your craft room, whatever you have to do, because you just pair this with a Cricut Joy pen and you write the name of the thing right on it and take it right off. I have been known to keep my Cricut Joy in my kitchen so I can um, label things. Uh, let's, let's go to another basic paper one. Okay, so this here, is called Smart Paper and it's sticker cardstock. So just like the Smart Label, it's adhesive on the back. So you use it for making cards. Could be, you, know, you don't have to use any glue or tape. You can just cut it and put it right onto your card. So they have it in a bunch of colors. Let's see, here's white, here's black and white. They also have uh, deluxe paper. So it's also adhesive back, so you can use it for whatever you want, making paper crafts, making cards, all the fun stuff. They have all these cool patterns. I like this one. These are my favorite colors. They have some crazy patterns too. <laughs> Black and white and some pretty pastels. So lots of options here. You will be, the best place to find these is at Cricut.com in their shop. Okay, but of course you can use regular cardstock, but you, you will need to cut it to size. And to cut it to size, I recommend the Cricut trimmer, right? So this, if you've never seen this, this is really handy to have for many things, um, not just your joy, but so it's uh, like a slide trimmer. You can get replacement blades. It has a swing out um, right here. This is important to know because this is how you measure things. So you put your things right in here, it measures it up. You wanna put it up against the top there and then you just slide it to cut, right? So super easy. And one more thing I wanna know about the trimmer is that there's a place to keep replacement blades back here. Sometimes there's even a replacement blade back there already. It just depends on when you got it because sometimes they came with it or you put it back there and forgot about it. So this is the Cricut trimmer. Very useful to have if you're gonna do um, paper crafting. Okay, next material um, is, one of these, we've got smart, and these are all smart, uh, all smart materials here. So again, you don't have to use smart materials, but they're already sized for the joy and you don't have to use a mat. So I am going to steer you towards smart materials, unless of course you have a huge stash that you want to use. So if you do already have vinyl, like for another machine or whatever, you just put it onto your mat, okay? You'll have to cut it down to size. Um, so we have smart iron-on, infusible ink, I'll talk a little bit more about that, and smart vinyl. So smart iron-on is making t-shirts. So you see that maker's shirt back there? That's iron-on vinyl, and it's using black and glitter. So that's smart iron-on. So it's used for t-shirts and bags and pot holders, anything, iron-on vinyl is for anything sort of flexible. That's what I like to use it for. Infusible ink transfer sheets are a kind of sublimation ink. They are they are a sublim. They're, so they're, they're pre-printed sublimation sheets that you can cut with your Cricut to make cool things like shirts. The same thing, shirts, tote bags, all the things that you might use them for, but you can also make ornaments. So I made ornaments in December, if you saw that, double-sided ornaments. And of course you can make mugs and I will talk about the mug press in a little bit. So those are, Joy-sized infusible ink sheets. All right, and then we have Smart Vinyl. It comes in both permanent and removable. All right, so here we have Smart Vinyl and Permanent. Here's another one that's in Permanent. They also have some uh, 
patterns. Now, I don't know how often you might want to use patterns, but you never know. Maybe you would like to use to make it like a border or something with the patterns. We use permanent for, you know, like a, a frame, a glass, um, things that we definitely want to stay there. Nice, smooth things. We use removable when it's on something like a piece of furniture or your wall or something that you know you're going to want to take it off and you don't want uh, there to be any like adhesive residue or worse yet remove some drywall. So usually you'll be using the permanent stuff but occasionally you use removable. Removable. I have a tutorial on how I use removable vinyl to make a whole band center in my house. It was last January. Uh, it's on my blog if you'd like to see it. And then uh, they have joy size transfer tape. You can of course use the regular size that they sell. You don't have to have this, but when you're using this size, it's convenient to have the smaller size transfer tape. So you can get all of these things for your joy. And uh, these are 48 inches long, but you can get smart vinyl up to 120 inches. So this is 120, this is black, and this is 120 in black. So you can get them really long if you need them. And that's useful when you're, first of all, just doing a bunch of projects because you can kind of queue them up and do a whole bunch on one cut and that's really fast. Or if you're doing like a big, uh, big banner or something like in your kitchen and you want it to be longer. Because the awesome thing about smart materials is that you're not limited to the size of a mat, right? So this is the mat. This is the one that came in our box and then and then this is the longest mat you can get for the Cricut Joy. This is only 12 inches, right? So if you want to do a big banner, you know, that says, you know, Jennifer's Kitchen or something like that, that's going to be, it would be really tiny if I had to use this mat. But instead, I can use this smart vinyl and make a really, really long one, right? Just, I mean, and I think the limit is 12 feet, right? That's way longer than I would want to make it. <laughs> That would be more like Jennifer's Kitchen. The food's really not so great, but enjoy anyways or something. <laughs> I don't even know what that would say. <laughs> so those are our materials. And again, remember, you don't have to use smart materials. I want that to be really clear. You do not have to use them. They're there if you want them, but if you want to put everything onto your mats, you totally can. Uh, so you are not limited in that way. The only way that you're really limited with the Cricut Joy is the size. You can't go any wider than, if you're using um, smart materials, your maximum width is five inches, I believe. And if you're using a mat, your maximum width is four and a quarter inches. So that's, that's your biggest limitation with the Cricut Joy. And of course, you know, it cuts, it cuts basic stuff. So cardstock, vinyl, infusible ink transfer sheets. It can cut full leather, so long as it's very thin. And it can be a foil transfer, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about some of the uh, accessories too. So the Easy Press comes in three sizes actually. This is the nine by nine inch size, which I like because it's not too heavy, but they also have a 12 by 10 size. If you have a Cricut Joy, I'm gonna recommend this size because you're probably not making anything big enough to warrant the heavier and larger Easy Press. For anyone who doesn't know what an Easy Press is, this is a Cricut heat press and it has a nice big surface that you use um, to heat iron-on vinyl and infusible ink up to the right temperature and right on top of this, it's not plugged in so I can't show you the LED, but there's a display right here. This is the power button, the temperature to set it, the time to set it. So the Cricut heat guide tells you exactly what settings to use for your material and whether it's iron on vinyl and what kind of iron on vinyl because there's a lot. Is it glitter? You know, is it holographic? All sorts of them. And then you change your temperature here and this is the button to actually start. So very, very useful if you're going to do any iron on vinyl or infusible ink. You're really going to want to have uh, the Cricut Easy Press. And but another option is the Easy Press Mini. So this is a much smaller version. It looks like this here, right? So here's its surface, but it can it gets hot enough to do infusible ink. Um, so it's pretty cool. So. 
But if you're going to do anything big, if you think you're going to do a lot of stuff, I probably would still have you get one of the bigger heat presses, uh, the bigger easy press specifically. I don't, there are heat presses that aren't Cricut brand. I've never used them, so I can't advise you on those. I really like the Cricut easy press and I got those and I have been happy and have had no need to try anything else. So this is the Cricut easy press mini. And of course we're using that for things like the infusible ink and smart iron on, right? That's what we use the uh, easy presses for. Now there's something else that people have been asking me about, the Cricut mug press. So this came out uh, in 2021, so it hasn't even been out a year at the time I'm making this video. And it uses infusible ink to put awesome designs onto sublimation mugs. Uh, like these Cricut mugs. So it needs to be a sublimation surface, so it can be, um, and they have two different sizes of Cricut mugs. My water mug was made here in the, in the mug press as well. This isn't a Cricut brand of uh, tumbler, but I found it on Amazon and it works great. So the mug press is awesome, it's so cool. I have one of my mugs sitting in here. Let me show you what this looks like. So this one was made using the infusible ink pens and all I did was I cut out a vinyl initial, so this is M for maker, and then I just dotted my infusible ink pens around it, and I did this on a piece of paper, and then I put the, I wrapped the paper around it, and here is the mug press, and you turn it on, it's not plugged in right now, and you put it right in here like this, and you put it down, and it, it, it determines the temperature of your mug and just the right settings for you to make this gorgeous mug. So I have lots of tutorials on the mug press, but I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, and there's uh, the M and there's a J on this side. So that's using the pens, but of course you can use the infusible ink transfer sheets to make some really amazing designs as well. Of course, if you have a sublimation printer, you can also use the Cricut mug press. And I recommend the Cricut heat transfer tape. So this is heat resistant tape. And this is important for keeping your designs on your mugs or even your t-shirts or whatever it is that you're working with so they don't slide around. So the heat, this is the heat resistant tape. All right. Oh, and here's the mugs. Uh, these are, they're ceramic mug blanks. They're sublimatable, so that's important. It needs to have a surface, special surface for the infusible ink to actually sink into. The dollar store mugs don't have it, so don't try it with those. Um, but you can find lots of other brands as well. The, the, Cricut, the Cricut ones work really well. So the Cricut Bright Pad Go, Bright, Bright Pad Go is useful for weeding, as you can see, as they're doing, doing right here. This, and it's cordless, so you can charge it and take it with you. It can be plugged in, but you can. it's best, I like using it cordless. And I'll plug it in, I'll turn it on so you can see. So see, it gets really bright, and then you can put your, I don't think that this will show much, but we'll try. There we go. So you can put the thing that you're weeding on top of it so you can see what you're doing better. That's how that works. So that is the Cricut Bright Pad Go. I really like it. It's a, a sort of a blue color, they don't come in any of the colors. People always ask me that. But it's uh, really useful. You can turn it down if you don't need it to be so bright or you can have it up high. It's got different settings. And that's that. One more thing that you might find useful. So the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Joy is uh, wireless only for its connectivity, right? So there's no USB cable or anything like that. It literally only, like in fact, there's no buttons on it whatsoever. The only connection it has um, is this power cable on the back, okay? So you can't plug in a USB cord. Some of you might have a laptop that doesn't have Bluetooth or something. And if that's the case, you can buy a USB smart Bluetooth dongle. The link to this is right up here. So if you need, if you need one, um, this can go into your, your laptop so that you can connect to your Cricut Joy. There's a lot of stuff. And of course, there's more that you could get. There's, you'll find so many things. Uh, I know that you'll ask, what if I get the Smart Vinyl 
for, you know, like the, the bigger stuff. Can I still use it with my joy? Um, I haven't tried it, but I would be cautious because you have to get it cut perfectly straight to feed it through. You're welcome to try. If you can get it cut to the right size, um, it's probably going to work. I don't know for sure though. So that's one thing you could, but you can always, if you have the bigger stuff, you can always put it onto your mat. So don't worry about that. Now there really is a lot here and I want to caution you if you're new, I you, you should not go buy all these things. Do not go buy all these things. It's overwhelming and what will happen, usually what I see happen with people is they, they're like, oh my gosh, all these things, I have to get them. And they collect all the items and then there's, it's overwhelming. They don't know what to do or where to start or they worry that they don't quite have everything. So instead, what I recommend you do is get yourself the starter kit. This is really useful to have. You're gonna need these tools. And then I want you to go to my Cricut uh, Projects for Beginner page, which you will get in an email later. It also will, I'll give share it with you tomorrow as well after we've talked about design space, okay? And I want you to pick one project and get the supplies for just that one project. I don't care what it is. It doesn't even have to be a beginner project on that list. I have many other beginner projects. Pick one project, Do just get the tools and supplies for that one thing, just that one thing. Don't get all of this and do it from start to finish, okay? That's really important. Actually do it and finish it. This is so much better than just collecting all the things and then being like, okay, well, what do I do now? <laughs> so I want you to be project-based rather than supply and tool-based. It really, really makes a difference. So if I were to recommend a first project, I actually think that the insert cards are awesome. It's the whole kit is here. You, and when you have uh, your tools here, which will be useful, the scraper tool in particular will be useful for this. You uh, can make a whole bunch of cards. They'll be really cute. They'll feel good. And I think that cardstock is the perfect place to begin. Uh, it doesn't, it's not too expensive to experiment with. It's pretty easy to cut and yeah. All right, and there's one more thing, actually I forgot I wanted to tell you about. My secret weapon is a balled up piece of aluminum foil. That's all this is. The aluminum foil is from my kitchen. That's all it is. And what I use this for, I'm, I'm sure some of you already know. So the blade in your Cricut, um, you know, after you've used it for a while, it'll start to get kind of gunky from adhesive, little bits of glitter, little bits of paper, whatever. And to keep it clean, I like to, what I do is I push the plunger in like this. And of course, I'm being very cautious because this is sharp. I push in the plunger like this and I poke my ball of aluminum foil like about 50 times. This cleans it, it doesn't sharpen it. It cleans it, it removes all the little dust, debris, um, oxidation, it's a piece of metal after all, all of the little things that might make it difficult to get a nice clean cut. And then we put it back into our Cricut and close the clamp. And this will <laughs> serve you very well. If ever you're doing a cut and it just doesn't seem like it's working, clean it with your aluminum foil ball. And this is just aluminum foil, it's nothing special. And I don't, you don't, I mean, after a while it'll start to like, you know, get kind of gunky and we'll want to start flaking little bits off and then go get a new piece of, of aluminum foil and just ball it up. All right, I think that's everything. All right, so if you've got any questions about using the tools, accessories, and supplies for the Cricut Joy, please let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask in my fantastic Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get help and guidance from hundreds of thousands of Cricut Crafters just like you. So if you also want to learn about the tools for the Cricut Explorers and the Cricut Makers, because they are quite a bit different, I have lessons on those cutting machine tools as well. Get links to those classes at cricutkickoff.com. Tomorrow, I'll be back to um, teach lesson three where we dive into Cricut Design Space and um, we're gonna do it on my computer as well as my iPad and an Android tablet. So all three places and I'll show you all of the important things that you can do and then we'll do a simple and fun project together using basic cardstock and the pen that came in your Cricut Joy box.
<laughs> Until our next class, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>